Welcome to Believe It or Not. I'm Pastor Tim. During this series, we are going to be looking at the amazing things that Jesus did to see if they were scientific phenomena, magic tricks, or actual miracles. Magicians are performers that use sleight of hand, misdirection, and practice to convince you that the impossible is possible. Everything they do is an illusion. It's not real. Magic lives in the world of the impossible, but it's all a trick. Science and scientists investigate how the world works and ask important questions. Science is important and scientific discoveries have led to many breakthroughs in medicine, technology, and engineering. However, science cannot make the impossible possible. Science lives in the world of possible. Miracles are occurrences that can't be explained in any other way. They can't be duplicated or tricked. They are the real events that have no other explanation. God, through his son Jesus, is able to do the impossible. God lives in the world of making the impossible possible. Today, we're going to be looking at two miracles. One, Jesus turned water into wine. And two, Jesus walked on water. Now, I believe they are miracles, but I want you to investigate and check it out for yourself. I believe that God is able to do anything, but I want you to believe that too. I believe that God is able to do anything he puts his mind to and that nothing can stop the plans that he has in place. That reminds me of our key verse. I know that you can do all things. Nothing can put a stop to your plans. Job 42, 2. Stand up and say that with me. Here we go. I know that you can do all things. Nothing can put a stop to your plans. Job 42, 2. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. I know that you can do all things. Nothing can put a stop to your plans. Job 42, 2. Now, during Believe It or Not, we're going to look at these miracles objectively and see if they were performed through magic, scientific phenomena, or miracles. To help us out, we have two professionals, Dr. Lillian Beekerbooman and Willie Borgen, AKA the Great Bambino. The Great Bambino! The Great Bambino! Dr. Beekerbooman will investigate the water into wine, and the Great Bambino. The Great Bambino. The Great Bambino. Weird. We'll investigate Jesus walking on water. They'll show us how a scientist or a magician would have performed these miracles. Now, the first miracle happens in Cana when Jesus is at a wedding. They run out of wine, and Jesus turns water into wine. Not just any wine, though. This was the best wine at the wedding. That story is found in John 2, verse 1 through 11. Now, the second miracle happens after Jesus feeds 5,000 people. The disciples go out on the Sea of Galilee, and after they were three or four miles out, they see Jesus walking on the water. That story is found in Matthew 14, verse 22 through 33. All right, now here's what I want you to do. Find your team leaders and let's read about these two miracles in the life of Jesus and read about what happened before we find out why or how it happened. Go find your team leaders.